In order to solve our problem of flattening out the multi-level data structure that we talked about in the first video, we could use actually different algorithms to do that. Um, the most obvious approach involves traversing the entire list or entire data structure and going over every single node once, copying it to a new data structure, and creating that single level data structure that we need which is the solution to our problem. So we would step over every single node in this complex multi-level data structure using an algorithm of our choice that we would define and copy it to a new data structure and then we would have the solution to our problem. And to do that you could actually even use a depth first traversal or a breadth first traversal and uh, with certain modifications, of course, to this uh, to these algorithms, because of course our uh, data structure is not entirely a tree, nor is it a doubly linked list per se. It's actually a hybrid of both, like we said. So a, a tree would essentially involve nodes on different levels, and they would be connected by a parent-child relationship. And but but the the variation would be that in our case, on a one, on a single level, we allow for the fact that nodes could be connected together whereas in a normal tree you wouldn't you would never have connections between nodes on a single level and so this is a slight variation that we have here and you have to accommodate for that in your traversals and just make sure that you go over all the elements now this is slightly complicated what we're going to do is we're going to actually use a more uh, efficient it's actually uh, easier to implement and it's also quite efficient too uh, so the algorithm we're going to be using is the following so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start at the head of the list, at the beginning of the list where head is pointing at. So let me just draw our data structure, our multi-level data structure, so I could illustrate what exactly we're going to be doing in that algorithm. And we'd have here, and instead of actually uh, listing all the other, other nodes in this particular list associated with this child, I'm just going to put three points here. Okay, so there would be other nodes right here, and there would be a list forming. Uh, that every child could potentially have its own list going downwards and so on and so forth. So this is what we're going to do. The algorithm starts as follows. The first step you do, you start at the very beginning, at the head of the first level. So head of the first level. And the next step is you say you create a while loop and you say while I am not at the very end, so this is our tail here, and you say that while I'm not at the end of the list, at the end of the first level or the tail while I haven't reached the tail yet this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at every single element and I'm going to add its child along with the list it's associated with. If you add simply the child and you actually update the pointers uh, the next and previous then essentially you've copied the entire uh, list associated with that child you would add it to the end of the list that you already have on the first level. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to copy that child along with its list and we're going to copy right here, update the pointers accordingly. So we'd have a, uh, a pointer going next from here and one going backwards from here. And then also take your tail and make it point to the very end of this child's list. So make it point to, for example, at the end right here. And make it point right at the end. So right now we've effectively taken this child node, uh, this, this node's child list, and copied it to the end of our list and updated our tail. So we've effectively covered that child. Do the same for every single node. So while you're doing this, move to the next node. So move to this node now, look at its child, take its list, copy it to the end, update the tail pointer. And what you're effectively doing is you're traversing the list, the list uh, level by level. You're traversing this entire multi-level data structure level by level. So you're going by this level, this is the first, second, third, fourth, and then you're copying all of them to the end and you're updating the tail pointer. And then you're going to get to this point right here. And this one's children will be this ch child right here and its list. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to copy it to the very end. And you're going to keep on doing this until you reach the point where you hit the tail and that's where you stop. And effectively what you would have done then is you would have copied all the nodes right here to the end of the list and put them all in one straight line. And this is the algorithm we're going to be using. It's simple because all you have to do is just one while loop and look at all the elements one by one while updating the tail pointer until you reach the tail pointer, copying all the children and their list to the end of the list. So this would solve our problem. The complexity is actually big O of N. You would look at every single element once except the, the ones that come right here. You would look at them twice. You would examine their children and examine them right here. So it's